Mistake, this is the point of a mistake. So most people will say maghubi, maghub. If you say maghub, you're making the meme thick. So you want to smile on the meme, so you're going to say melbubi. Now again, the ba, even though it has a kasra, very few people will smile on it. They'll just say melbubi. And it's b being pronounced thick with a kasra. There's a difference between b and b. Yeah, the smiling that makes a big difference. So, <laughs> Now, notice the lamb. If, if I say ril or ril, it's different. It just sounds different. Um, so that's one example. Now, yeah. When you do the like the wah after the law, it's supposed to be thin. So yeah. So it's again a transition. In the middle of that, you smile. You go lubi, lu, and then you're transitioning to a to a like during the elongation. Yeah. Yeah, so you lose the, the strengthening during that. Action. It sounds like the wow is going to follow the rule. It sounds like the wow is going to follow the, the rule of alif. Yeah, so that's what I would thought. Because you can't do it. I'll look. I'll have to find out. It sounds like the wow would have to follow the, the, the rule of the alif, uh, which is follow what comes before it. But I'm not sure. Um, Okay, so a couple questions. That, I mean, that's a good question. Uh, so another example. Is that salt? Yeah. Okay, so let's take what's thin. Meme is thick. Meme is thick. Yeah. Hob is thick. Meme is thick. Sword is thick. And tag. Yeah. So this whole thing is going to be like this. Okay? Close. Merch mosa. Yeah. So if you look at me in my mouth, you'll see. Good. It's tricky. It's tricky. Um, so it's, it's a matter of getting used to doing that. Um, so, uh, questions? We say uh, even easier kind of examples are Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So you can just say it as khalaqa, khalaqa, right? But that's not what we're doing here, right? It's tajweed, so it means betterment. So it's going to be khalaqa, khalaqa. Oh, sorry, khalaqa, khalaqa, khalaqa. Thick, thin, thick. Khalaqa, khalaqa. And the lamb, you gotta smile. Khalaqa, khalaqa. Exactly. It sounds different. If I say khalaqa and they're all the same, versus I say khalaqa, khalaqa, and then you go faster, you you pronounce it obviously faster, but you still hold through. So you say khalaqa al insan min alaqa, khalaqa al insan min alaqa. Yeah, alaqa, alaqa. Good. Okay. Questions? Can you explain the elevation and lower? Of the, the back of the tongue. Oh, the back of the tongue. Yeah. So it's it's it, it's saying that if you were to look at a diagram, these the 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 back of the tongue, like would be elevated on these thick letters. So you say all when you say all, right? When you say kha, it's istila. What the raising is referring to is like this back portion of the tongue. Now the way to defeat that, or the way to inhibit that, is to smile. 
right? You can't say you can't say and smile. You just can't do it. So they're uh, they're in conflict with each other. If you smile, it has to be thin. Okay. Okay, so good. So now, a couple of points to note, right? So we're going to look at the difference between seen and sawed. We're going to look at the difference between thick and thin. We're going to look at the that and then stuff we've studied before, okay? So the difference here. We're going from thick, I mean from thin to thick. So everyone say it after me. A lot of times people think that Ain is a thick letter because it's like, you know, it's pronounced from the throat. Right? It's, it's Arabic. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not, it's not actually a thick letter. It's still A. And it's pronounced thin because it's not A. If it was A, it would be thick. But we say A. So this whole thing is thin. You're still smiling, even though it's a very serious one. Right? Right? It's punishment. So we still, we're still saying عذاب. فصد عليهم ربك سوط عذاب. فصد عليهم ربك سوط عذاب. So another thing here is if you say fa, fa sabba, you're making the fa thick. It's supposed to be thin. So fa, fa sabba, fa sabba. What ends up happening is you, you get more confused. Uh, so we'll spend a few minutes, inshallah, reviewing, reading the surah, and then we'll, we'll. Uh, so that's all in terms of, of what we'll take today. So uh, the tafkhim and tarqiq which is based on the letters of Istana. So we still have a little bit left in there, right? We have to figure out lamb and law. We have to figure out the rules for lamb and law, and we'll do that next week. And then we have a little bit more of the makharij left, which are the letters of the tongue. Those are easy. Those are just ba, mim, and wa. And we'll do those next week, and then we'll start ikhfa. Okay? We'll start ikhfa. And the whole reason, all of this is leading up to ikhfa, because you have to figure out first, if it's ikhfa, then where the ikhfa is going to originate. Like where is the articulation point of the letter after the nun sakin? And then also, you have to figure out whether that's going to be thick or thin. Okay, so all of this stuff, you should pay attention and memorize the letters. So that when the ikhfa time comes, you'll know whether the ikhfa is going to be uh, thick or it's going to be thin. Okay, so what are the letters of istarla? Yeah, no smiling throughout that whole thing. <laughs> Right? Okay? So we're just applying the Tajweed rules to the to the memorization devices. When you say Qutbujad, 
He said you had to <laughs> okay, so that's that's the rules for today. We'll spend a few more minutes, inshallah, practicing, and then we'll 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 wrap up, inshallah, because it's getting a little bit late. So, subhanallah, bihamdihi, subhanakallahumma, bihamdika, nashadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wa salli allahumma wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in bi rahmatika, arhamu Yeah.